Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading new rows from Google Sheets to the Salesforce CRM system. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new lines from Google Sheets to other systems. For example, in Salesforce you can create new contacts, conveniently store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Google Sheets data source system. At this point, you need to select an action. Get rows new. At this stage, you need to connect your Google Sheets account to the Apex Drive service. In this window we need to specify the username and password of the personal Google account. Next, be sure to check all the checkboxes. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. Then you need to specify the file and sheet from which you plan to receive new lines. In the Start Data Loading with Row No field, you must specify the row number from which you want to start unloading. For example, if you have 1000 rows in the table, and you do not want to transfer all these rows, you need to specify the number 999 in order to start downloading from the last one. In this case, I have two rows in the table, so I will put two. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click continue. At this point, you see an example of the string you specified in the settings. If you are satisfied click next. On this setting of the Google Sheets data source has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up data reception. Select Salesforce as the data ingestion system. Next, you need to select an action. Create contacts. At this point, you need to connect your Salesforce account to the Apex Drive service. In this window you need to specify the login and password of your Salesforce account. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it. At this point, you see the Salesforce fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from Google Sheets to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all the required fields are filled, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Salesforce as new contacts for each new row from Google Sheets. If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Salesforce. After successful submission, go to Salesforce and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. This completes the Salesforce data ingestion setup successfully. Now you need to enable auto update and select the communication interval, for example, once every five minutes. That's all. I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.